I'm Justin Penn, and I'm a junior in the college at Georgetown University, and I'm a double major in English government and a minor in uh, sociology. Um, Georgetown University, um, first of all, in my opinion, is a great institution, uh, not just in its rankings, but in its environment. The students here, um, we have lots of international students, and so one of the things that's been really dear to my heart is the environment in regards to diversity, um, the interfaith dialogues we have on this campus, um, things that have impacted my stay here on campus. I really see college as an opportunity to grow, as a chance to really um, get to know yourself. I think I have argued with lots of my mentees who are freshmen that you learn more about yourself in one year um, than you have probably in the 17, 18 years prior. Even if you're a very independent person, I still think that you do learn a lot about yourself. And you also you have the opportunity to have a roommate, and I, I had a great roommate. Um, we clashed at times. We had great times. Um, you really learn a lot about each other, and it really gets you outside of the lar in a larger context about that there's more people in this world, not just yourself. You get around people with big ideas, great ambitions, and it's just something that really shapes you and helps you grow as just a, a larger person. Lots of people say that they may not see college as the place for them. However, I would only argue that it isn't just strictly about the academics. I mean, yes, you're intellectually challenged, and here at Georgetown, we take it to a whole new level. But at the same time, you really get an atmosphere where you have four years to, um, you know, be selfish, and you get to grow as an intellectual, grow as a person. Uh, for me, I was got close to my faith. Um, so that's how I would definitely encapsulate um, our campus. And I think that's what um, the college period has the opportunity to offer to many of the people that want to participate in it. Um, my favorite building on my campus has to be Hilly Hall. And the reason behind that is because it's one of our oldest buildings on this campus. Um, our school dates back to 1789. Um, and it's just, every time I look at it, you know, it's a big clock tower. And you get to see the history that's involved in it. You get to see, I get reminded of the struggles of this country, uh, what we've all went through. Uh, more than likely, slaves built um, the Hilly Hall, and I think that in itself just shows, for me as an African American being on the campus, that I'm standing next to a place where people were fighting for the dream and I'm having the opportunity to live it. Um, so it's just a beautiful building. It looks out all over Washington, and it just it gives me hope. I remember the first time I pulled up to campus um, to come participate in a um, weekend um, as a prospective student. I had already been accepted at the time, and I remember just being Wow, I was amazed when I got to see how big that was. It really, I mean, it just blew me away. It was just so beautiful. And it made me see that this is going to be my home for the next uh, four years. I've been to other places, and their food has not always been the best. Um, our food, we're, 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 we're improving. Um, you know, it gets, the, the first couple weeks, the food was good. And then you, it, you they serve the same thing, so it kind of gets repetitive. Uh, so... Campus food's good, but uh, sometimes you can you take every advantage you can to go off campus and eat other places. Um, that's kind of how I'll put it there. Um, and you definitely learn to cook. So <laughs> I'll let you guys infer uh, what that may mean on that. You know, I'm from Ohio, and um, this was a huge move for me. Uh, I was never one to really jump outside of my state. I was the first one to leave my state, um, let alone attend college. And it was definitely, I recommend it. I, you know, I tell that to so many people, it's better to sometimes go outside of your environment because that's really when you get the opportunity to meet some amazing people, different perspectives. I mean, this is, we're all one country, but each side from, um, from the East Coast to West Coast, different types of people, different types of values, and just really uh, speaks to the heart of the country and speaks to you having the opportunity to go through that process. I would say college is very intimate um, and I would also say that college is very intense and the reason why I use the word intense is because yes you get challenged academically but it really comes down to personally being challenged um, interacting with people from different walks of life. Um, I consider myself a pretty independent person but then coming to school and you know, learning the different stories of so many different students, different perspectives, even political affiliations, it really does um, shake you up and you realize that sometimes you have to be dependent on others. I would say at Georgetown, 
Some of my favorite classes have been The Problem of God, um, getting the opportunity to interact with great professors, I guess as part of the liberal arts education, interacting with different faiths, um, different perspectives in the classroom. That's something I say is a lot larger and different for me coming from a public high school. Um, the conversation was more detailed about what we think. Um, and I remember in my high school, it was kind of you regurgitated uh, what the, the teacher would tell you. And I never had the opportunity to think critically, um, think more outside the box about what I actually believe and then taking the perspective of what my uh, fellow peers believe. That's one class that I definitely recommend. Also, Elements of Political Theory. Um, it really shows that uh, where my uh, knowledge of philosophy was limited and also made me a better person understanding how government works and understanding some of the greats um, out there when it comes to Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, and etc. Um, another class that I really recommend here at Georgetown is called International Organizations. Um, it's taught by Professor James Freeland and the best word that describes him as a professor is simply badass. He's just an amazing person, a person that literally makes you believe. It, it, he goes outside the parameters of the course. He really gets inside that we're all people, that we're all going through a certain path, and that that's what college is about. It's about interacting with students. It's about interacting more than just your academics. It's really a life-changing um, and altering um, environment that really allows you to really understand who you are and allows you to make those ideas that you have, the dreams, possibly become reality. You gain the tools there. Um, what did I? What did you do for your for your accommodation to college? How was your experience? Uh, for my freshman year, it was definitely intense. Um, I did kind of feel that some some points I wasn't as prepared as I wanted to be, um, but that's okay because you have resources here on your campus. It's just people have to kind of swallow their pride and feel free to tell the professor, you know, I didn't understand this. Could we talk more in office hours? Which is office hours is something I completely recommend. I mean, people kind of. You fear your professors. I mean, you have to think they're human too. I mean, even if you just go in there and have a conversation like, why did you want to become a professor? It's really that type of um, atmosphere at Georgetown that I really appreciate that we have the opportunity to have those type of conversations, really get to know uh, who your professor is, and just go and tell them your story. Tell them where you come from. Hear where they come from. Ask them how they got into the business they're doing. And just engage. I mean, don't feel free to ask a question. There was this one really wise uh, professor on our campus that once said, a person that doesn't ask a question will be stupid the rest of his life. And I think you should ask and engage questions. I mean, you have nothing to lose except by not learning anything. Uh, you wouldn't look stupid by asking the question. Um, I really... Um, I think one thing I love about our environment here at Georgetown is just being in Washington, D.C. Um, the environment there is just, I mean, we're in the nation's capital. Um, having the opportunity to go out and just walk, and walk through different areas. I feel like every time I go take a walk, I discover something I never knew was there. And I think that's probably one of the largest things I wouldn't challenge any person when they go to college is to um, take advantage of the environment which the college is a part of. Um, here in D.C., you can go to the Smithsonian, so many free events. Uh, we, have our, we just had our uh, Cherry Blossom Festival and seeing so many tourists come. And it's just really, it just gives you a new rebirth of fresh thinking and just rejuvenates you. We have the best of both worlds, I will say that. Um, I think college is a place that, well, in respect to Georgia, college is a place where you can get what you want it to be. You can um, take anything out of this place that you want it to be. A lot of people, we have very, I mean, we're one of the top universities in research and et cetera. So, I mean, we have we have our academics definitely set and I try to engage in that as much as I can. But the social life is there. We have lots of activities on this campus. I mean, people create clubs all the time. People, I mean, hopefully none of you guys um, are Frisbee fans, but I didn't know that was actually a sport until I came to Georgetown. We have a grilling society, people to get together and they grill. Um, so the social life is definitely there. They do, we do have college parties, um, and I recommend that people who go to college do take advantage of the social opportunities because um, it's about what campus is like. I mean, this becomes your home. You live, you work, and you play here too. So you definitely want to have the opportunity to engage. Be serious in your academics also, but take advantage of many opportunities you can to interact and be part of the you know, school student sphere. So, um, I'll leave you all with that. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and I really hope that you guys, um, when you have the opportunity to go to college, um, you take advantage of everything you can and really allow this to be about self-discovery, because I know you guys will come away um, better persons, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.